So the goal of the next lab is to actually commit a transaction with a single enlistment. So we're going to have to actually create a transaction and then commit the enlistment. We're going to have to set breakpoints on functions like when we create the transaction, when we create the enlistment, and we when we commit the enlistment. And we're going to then analyze the k transaction object as well as the k enlistment object. Okay, let's get started. So let's look at the commit single enlistment tx.c file. We can see similarities to the previous lab, which is to, we have headers related to KTM, the library being linked to. We have a special mask uh, that we can use for being notified or as we pass to the transaction. We have handles being defined, a default grid for the resource manager, then the instruction of the labs. So then we, similar to before, we create a transaction manager, which is volatile. Then we recover the transaction manager. We create the resource manager, volatile as well, passing the handle to the transaction manager. Then we recover the resource manager. Then it's going to basically wait that you set breakpoints. Then there is some instructions to actually create a transaction. So we're going to need to call the create transaction function. So we're going to have to look at the arguments for that function. Then it's already creating the create enlistment, passing the special mask. And then it's calling a function called commit transaction async. So this function is actually not defined, but what this function is doing is that it's waiting on the actual transaction that you commit all the enlistments. And to commit the enlistment, you need to call commit complete. So if we look for commit complete, what it says is indicate that the resource manager has finished committing a transaction that was requested by the transaction manager and you give it a enlistment handle. So yeah, you need to add these two calls and then debug it and analyze what is happening. Now it's your turn.